Mr. Chairman, uh, Director General of IOM, Mr. Swing, Director General of ILO, uh, Mr. Ryder, distinguished delegates, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. As the Chairman said, I will speak here representing five United Nations regional commissions. I would like also to mention before uh, I say about our work of regional commission and our chairmanship that uh, welcoming the remarks of UN Deputy Secretary General Mr. Jan Eliasson and also Special Represent Representative of Secretary General for Migration Mr. Peter Sutherland for the inspiring and eloquent speech giving us global guidance in our future work. I think it will help in a general debate and uh, give us future orientation. Also, I would like to thank Mr. Swing for introducing some elements of the achievements reached by the chairmanship of the regional commissions during the first semester of 2013. ESCAP, our regional commission for Asia, on behalf of UN Regional Commission, chaired the Global Migration Group from January 1st to end of June 2013. During the Regional Commission's chairmanship, we focused on the following key outcomes. Strengthening the GMG to improve its substantive coordination and collaboration function. Improving the visibility of the GMG through outreach towards member states and other stakeholders. Implementing the ongoing GMG internal review process and coordinating preparations for GMG for the high-level dialogue of the General Assembly on International Migration and Development held on 3rd and 4th October 2013. Before going into further details of our activities related to strengthening the GMG to improve its substantive coordination and collaboration function, let me clarify why we have undertaken this process of review. The GMG achieved a measure of interdisciplinary collaboration in recent years that could not have been foreseen years ago. We reached a more open and constructive climate for interagency debate and exchange of international migration in development. We reached a more coherent, comprehensive and better coordinated approach to international migration among ourselves. We reached a common understanding of interactions between immigration and development and the need for coordinated response strategies. But we also realized that we had to increase our efforts to bring our diversity of perspectives, our technical capacity to member states and the international community in order to better support member states in managing such a complex, cross-cutting subject as international migration and development. Therefore, our commitment to a strong process of review taken by GMG principles in November 2012. We are pleased that at the high-level dialogue in October 2013, Member States have recognized the efforts made by GMG to threaten our coherence and working method arrangements. In paragraph 32 of the Declaration of the High-Level Dialogue on International Migration, Member States welcome, and I quote, the recent efforts made by the Global Migration Group to undertake measures to enhance its functioning and to promote coherence and coordination among its member organizations. End quote. The review process was successful in addressing a number of long-standing issues related to the institutional strengthening and coherence within GMG. First, we established more predictable chairing arrangements with the rotational system by alphabetic order. This will help us in planning for the allocation of human and financial resources by the entities concerned. We also changed the chairmanship from six months to one year cycle. As of 2014, the new GMG chair, ILO, will serve for a period of one year. ILO will be followed by UN Women, in 2015 and by World Bank in 2015, which chairmanship has already mentioned. We established a 
GMG administrative support team to support the chair and to facilitate and ensure continuity of the work of GMG. This will help us, for instance, to update our website management, to keep GMG institutional memory and facilitate wider access to our products, to organize more regular meetings to capture and review areas of common interest and to plan joint actions where possible, also in support of member states, and to coordinate periodic information sessions with member states, civil society, and other partners of the work and priorities of GMG. We organized also our programs of work by setting up working groups and task forces with a clear terms of reference to ensure greater depth in the treatment of substantive issues and coherence and coordination in key thematic areas. In addition to already existing working groups on mainstreaming migration in national development strategies and on data and research, we established additional working group on human rights, gender and migration, two times bound task forces on capacity de development and on migration, and a decent work were also established. Fourth, we formulated a three-year work plan from 2013 through 2015 as a part of effort to move towards results-based approach. The framework adopted includes two overarching work streams. First, GMG coordination and visibility, and two, migration and the post-2015 development agenda. The framework also includes work plan activities related to the five thematic work streams, namely data and research, mainstream, mainstreaming migration in developing planning, human rights and gender, and capacity development, and at last, decent work. We'll be also hearing more about the future principal streams of work that will be undertaken to 2014 under ILO chairmanship and by the following GMG chairs in 2015 and 2016 by my colleague and friend, uh, Director General of ILO. And finally, distinguished delegates, the GMG is still consolidating itself. Given the long histories and diverse mandates of our members' agencies, the GMG is likely, likely to be a long-term endeavor. The actions taken in 2013 to streamline the structure and actions of GMG reflect the behavior of a community of United Nations international entities plus IOM that share an interest in working coherently and effectively on common goals, migration and development challenges. In bringing together agencies willing to pool their expertise and resources and deliver joint outputs and results, the GMG has become an effective working mechanism for coordination, consensus building and cooperation on migration. We hope that our process of reform will provide a solid basis for future work with government and other partners to implement the outcomes of the 2013 high-level dialogue and pave the way for a migration inclusive post-2015 development agenda. Thank you for your attention.